हेलो एंड वेलकम गाइस टू द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो सीरीज ऑन इक्वेशन ऑफ अ स्ट्रेट लाइन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कोलिनियर पॉइंट्स परपेंडिकुलरिटी एंड पैरालिज्म इफ यू हैवंट वॉच द फर्स्ट टू पार्ट्स येट गो वॉच दैम द लिंक विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो इफ यू लाइक आर वीडियो डू हिट द थम्स अप बटन सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विद ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स डिग इन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस कोलिनियर पॉइंट्स Now, first of all, what are collinear points? If I have three points given, x one, y one, x two, y two, and x three, y three, what do I mean when these three points are collinear? It simply means that all these three points lie on a single straight line. It is as simple as that. Collinear points lie on a single straight line. Now, how do you prove that three points are collinear or not? There are two easy ways. First of all, you can find the slope of both these points and the slope of this and this point. And if both the slopes come to be equal, they are collinear. Or you can find the equation of the line joining these two points, x one y one, x two y two, and then put the value of x three y three in that particular equation. If the equation satisfies, then all the three points are collinear that means all the three points lie on a given single straight line now i will explain it to you with the example of a sum so that you have a better understanding here we have show that the points a minus 1 3 b 0 2 and c 1 1 are collinear i'll show you both the ways that i explained first of all let's calculate the slope slope of A B. Let me write both the points A minus one three and B zero two. Let this be x one y one and this be x two y two. The formula of slope M is y two minus y one divided by x two minus x one, which is two minus three divided by zero minus of minus one. Which means minus one divided by one, which is minus one. Hence, the slope of the line joining A B is minus one. Now we will find the slope of the line joining A and C. Slope of A C. Let me write the points A minus one three and C one one. Let this be x one y one and this be x two y two. Slope M is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, y2 is one, y1 is three, x2 is one, and x1 is minus one, minus of minus one, which gives us minus two divided by two, which is ultimately equal to minus one. Now, as you can see over here, the slope of the line joining AB is minus one. And the slope of the line joining A and C is minus one. Hence, these three points are collinear. Now I'll show you the second way. Let me rub it out. First, let me find the equation of the line AB. Equation of the line AB. What was the formula for equation of the line when two points are given? Y minus y one is equal to y two minus y one divided by x two minus x one into x minus x one. Therefore, this is my x one y one and this is my x two y two. So y minus y one, which is three, is equal to y two minus y one, two minus three divided by x two minus x one, zero minus of minus one. Into x minus of minus one. What do we get? Y minus three is equal to minus one into x plus one. Therefore, y minus three is equal to minus x minus one. Hence, y plus x is equal to three minus one, which is two. Now, this is the equation of the line joining the points A B. I'll write it out over here. Y plus x equal to two. Now what we will do? We will put the value of c 
in this equation and check whether it satisfies or not. So LHS is y plus x, y this is x, this is y, y over here is 1 and x is also 1 which is equal to 2 and 2 is equal to the right hand side. Therefore this point satisfies the given equation and hence all the three points are collinear. That means all the three points lie on a single straight line. Now we will move on to the next thing. Moving on to parallelism. Now this is a very hard word to pronounce. So what is this property? If two lines are parallel to each other, take for example AB and PQ. Both the lines are parallel to each other. AB is parallel to PQ. Now if two lines are parallel to each other, the slope of both the lines will be equal means that the slope of AB, M of AB will be equal to the slope of PQ, M of PQ. It is as simple as that and this property is called parallelism. Now this is a very small property but this is very important and using this we can solve a lot of sums. We have a sum over here. You have to find the equation of the line parallel to 3x plus 2y is equal to 8 and passing through the point 0, 1. First of all we have a given straight line. 3x plus 2y is equal to 8. Now what did I tell you? If two lines are parallel to each other, the slope will be equal. So let's find the slope of this particular line. How do we do that? We simply take this to the form of y is equal to mx plus c. Therefore 2y is equal to minus 3x plus 8. Therefore y is equal to minus 3 by 2x plus 4. Now if we compare both these equations, we get the value of m. So y is equal to minus 3 by 2x plus 4, y is equal to mx plus c. Therefore m is equal to minus 3 by 2. Now this line is parallel to the required straight line. That means the slope will be same. Here the slope is minus 3 by 2, hence the slope of the required line is also minus 3 by 2. I will write that. slope m is equal to minus 3 by 2. Okay? Now we have to find the equation of the line. The slope we have got and it is passing through the point 0, 1. We will simply use the formula for one point form which is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. Therefore y minus this is x1 this is y1. y minus 1 is equal to m which is minus 3 by 2 into x minus x1, x minus 0. So we have y minus 1 is equal to minus 3 by 2 x, therefore 2y minus 2 is equal to minus 3x. Hence 3x plus 2y is equal to 2. This is the equation of the required line. Now we will move on to the next thing which is perpendicularity. Moving on to the next thing which is perpendicularity. Now it is as simple as parallelism. Now if you have two lines and both of them are perpendicular to each other. Okay. Take this line AB and this as PQ. You can see that line AB is perpendicular to the line PQ. Now if two lines are perpendicular to each other, the slopes will be of this form m into m1 is equal to minus 1. Okay, that means the slope of the line AB and the slope of the line PQ, the product of both the slopes will be equal to minus 1. Now, let me explain this to you with the help of an example. We have find the equation of the line perpendicular to 3x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0 and passing through the point P minus 1 minus 2. Now we have been given the equation of a line and our required line is perpendicular to this. First let us find out the slope of this line. So 3x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. I will take this in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. Therefore 4y is equal to minus 3x plus 12. Therefore y is equal to minus 3 by 4x 
plus 12 by 4 which is 3. Now comparing both the equations we get m is equal to minus 3 by 4. Now according to the question this line and our required line are perpendicular to each other. So let me take let slope of required line is equal to m1. Now we have this the property of two perpendicular lines m into m1 is equal to minus 1. So what do we have m is equal to minus 3 by 4 into m1 our required slope is equal to minus 1 therefore m1 is equal to 4 by 3. Therefore we get the slope of our required line which is equal to 4 by 3. Now we will simply put this in the formula of one point form to get our equation. The formula is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 where this is x1 and this is y1 and m is minus 4 by uh, sorry 4 by 3. So y minus of minus 2 is equal to 4 by 3 into x minus of minus 1. So y plus 2 is equal to 4 by 3 into x plus 1. Therefore 3y plus 6 is equal to 4x plus 4. Therefore 3y minus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0. This is the equation of the required line. Now guys I will end this video over here. In the next video we will solve some advanced sums based on all the mixed topics of equation of a straight line. Till then stay tuned and as always goodbye take care and all the best.